This is a delicious, filling, nutritious, zero point tandoori chicken skewer recipe right out of the Weight Watchers recipe book. Hello friends, if you wanna see how I made these delicious yogurt, marinated, flavorful chicken skewers with these delicious vegetables, then stay tuned and watch this entire video. This whole entire plate, you guys. You guessed it. Zero points. Stay tuned. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's Arlene. So, to make these delicious um, chicken skewers. Oh, if I can get my thing out there. Oh, it's stuck. To make these delicious, flavorful chicken skewers, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the marinade that we're going to marinate the chicken in. So what you're going to need for that is one third of a cup of fat-free yogurt. And I'm just using the bowl and basket. So it's one third of a cup of that. Then, in my little dish here, the spices you're going to need, it is one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of garlic, and one teaspoon of cumin and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Actually, I'm sorry, it's one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. So I put one teaspoon plus a half. So everything else, the ginger, the garlic, and the cumin is one teaspoon, kosher salt, one and a half teaspoon, and black pepper, just a half a teaspoon. Then we're going to take our apple cider vinegar, and that's also going to be one and a half teaspoons, and we're going to add that. To our yogurt, I'm just going to stir that first. Then we're going to add our spices. Now we're just going to let this sit for a minute so that all the flavors could marry. So now I have my skewers here, but they're too long. So I want them to fit in my pan so that I can skew the, ch um, put the chicken on with the marinade and stick it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for a little while. So what I did was I cut them to fit inside my, my, uh, my pan here. And I have one, two, three, I have six skewers. But what I'm going to do first is just run these under cold water. And get them a little bit wet. The next thing to do is to clean your chicken. So I washed off these chicken cutlets. And I just take all the fat off. I always hate this line of fat that's right there on the top. It's not much, but I always cut that out. You know, you could trim your chicken however you want. 
get that little piece of fat out. And now we're just going to cut this into cubes. And depending on how many skewers you want to make, that's how many cubes of meat you're going to need. You could do this with steak. You could do it with pork. I'm just doing it with chicken to make a zero point meat for tonight. Again, you want to take your chicken and clean it. This is a knife that my brother Carl had given me. The one that just passed away. It was his fishing knife that he used to clean the fish with. And I have a sharp enough for it, and I absolutely love it. I use it when I cut any of my meats. See, you just want to get all that fat off. And I'll cook that up for the cats. All this stuff gets cooked for the cats. Again, into nice big chunky cubes. Now, usually I make my husband a different dinner, but um, he actually likes this chicken and this marinade. So I'll be making this for him as well, and then some for his lunch for tomorrow. So now, now that all the chicken is cubed up, I'm working with a puppy under my feet here. Chevy. Chevy. Chevy, say hi. <laughs> little scotch. My little baby. He doesn't want to do, he doesn't want to make his YouTube debut yet. <laughs> we'll have to wait. Till he's a little older. So now I'm going to take my skewers. And I'm just going to put. However many I can fit on. Which will probably be like four. There we go. I'm going to lay them in my dish. I just want to do it like so. Now you can either put these. And grill them in a pan. You could do them in the air fryer. I'm actually going to do them on the barbecue outside. So I'll be taking you outside and showing you how I grill them outside. Just want to make sure it goes through nice. This is a great lunch to make, or like I'm doing it for dinner. Looks like we're gonna get five out of this. Stick that last piece right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our marinade. And I'm just going to 
lather it on the chicken. Make sure it's all over, all the pieces. And we're going to flip them and do the other side. Now, while these are inside the refrigerator marinating, I'm going to clean up the kitchen, clean my board, get the grill hot outside. You want to start with a nice hot grill. And then I'll be back to show you how delicious these come out and what I'm going to serve them up with. So stay tuned, guys. You don't want to miss it. Okay, so the next step, I'm also going to serve with the chicken skewers is I'm gonna put some peppers and onions on some skewers. So I took uh, just a white onion, peeled it, and cut it into fours. And I have these whole peppers, yellow, orange, and red, which I just washed. I'm gonna leave them whole. And I soaked these skewers in water so they don't burn when they're out on the grill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and put it kind of on an angle like that. And then with the onion, I'm just gonna split it each quarter into half, put it on, put another pepper, put another thing of onion. Put another pepper. And you could put as many as you would like, no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to make a couple of these. That looks good for that one. We are going to season these, so I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Let's move this down. Then another red one now. And I'll do just one last one off camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that all of my peppers and onions are on, I actually found a little piece of red onion that I had left in the refrigerator that was unused, so I just threw that on. Now, if you wanted to brush this with olive oil, by all means do so. I'm just going to spray it with the spray on both sides. I'm going to turn it and just get all that sprayed. But by all means, if you want to use olive oil, just make sure you add the points for that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my salt. Turn them. I should do the pepper too. Do salt and pepper, then turn them. <laughs> that would make sense instead of turning them twice. You can even add a little bit of garlic if you want, some garlic powder, onion powder. You just want the salt and pepper to stick. Then we're just going to let them sit for a little bit. And we're 
we're gonna throw them on the grill. And they're gonna be delish. There we go. All right, guys, so we're outside by my grill and I have the grill screaming hot. I'm gonna lower it real quick. Because you really shouldn't do this. You should spray the pit, spray the grill before you put the flame on. Because see how it starts a fire? <laughs> so you just want to spray it with your grill, grill spray. Let that burn up. I'll put it back up on high just for a minute. This is as tall as my... Um, this is as big as my tripod goes so I hope you can see what I'm doing so now this chicken's been marinating for about four hours I'm just gonna take the skewers out and I'm gonna put them on the hot grill and then the trick to this is to shut this side off and leave the other side on this way so these don't get burnt. I'm gonna shut that off. I'm gonna close the lid for a minute. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna get my um, vegetable skewers. All right, so now I'm gonna put these three sides onto low. Well, medium, I'll put them on medium. I don't want them too, too hot. And that's where I'm going to stick my vegetables. Right on like so. It's already smelling delish. So this side is completely off. And these three burners here are on medium. So I'm just going to close the lid and let this cook for about 10 minutes or so. And I'll keep turning the vegetables, but I'm only going to turn the, the meat uh, like two or three times. So you want that to cook on the one side really good on indirect heat, not totally on the flame. You don't want your chicken on the outside to be burnt and crispy and then the inside to be raw. So that's why we're cooking it off of the flame. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna give my vegetables a quick turn. See how nice and charred they're getting? They look beautiful. I get my my turners here. I'm just gonna flip that guy over. Look how beautiful. Come on, flip over your pepper. Now these aren't gonna take too long on here because they're on the direct flame. Put my chicken over here. See how nice it's getting? And it's in the indirect flame. And you can see the juices starting to come out the top and we're just gonna flip each one. It's hard with this rack up here to get to the back. So I'll leave him right there. Now we'll close it again and leave it for like another 10, 12 minutes. And when I do close the lid, it keeps it at a consistent 400 degrees. And that's what you want. Okay, so my vegetables are done, and I did stick this in here just to get it nice and hot because I did touch the raw chicken with it. So once you get that, you know, your, um, your turner hot, it kills any salmonella or whatever that might have been on it. So you just want to bring that up to like a 400 degree temperature. Or you could just keep running in the house and washing it if you want, but... That's a little trick you could do. 
So now I'm just going to take these off and put them on my tray over here. Now, if I want to get a little bit more of a char on my chicken, I'm just going to move it to where the flames are. Because now that it's almost cooked through and it's nice and juicy, I want to get a little bit more color on here. So we'll move it to this side for a little bit. Just to get that color on there. Okay, so I gave these a nice little turn. And as you can see, nice, beautiful color on there. And these are just about done. I'm cooking these ahead of time, so when my husband comes home from work, he's I'm, I'll probably be at the dog park with the dog, but he'll um, pop it in the microwave, covered, and heat everything up for about two and a half to three minutes like he does every night. So I don't want to overcook it so that it's dry. So I'm going to shut this grill off. I'm going to pull these off. Look at that, how beautiful. And they're so flavorful with that delicious cumin and with the ginger and the garlic. And the salt and the pepper. And that yogurt. The yogurt and the um, apple cider vinegar acts like a, like a buttermilk and really tenderizes the chicken. So I just put it on my tray. I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to bring it inside. All right, guys, so we're back in the house. I'm plating up my husband's plate, but everything on here is zero points. I'm just making him a baked potato, which he'll, I'll serve with it. But I pulled a piece of chicken off one of the skewers. You guys, it's so moist and so tender and so delicious. I can't even explain it to you. The peppers and the onions. Look at that. Look at the juice coming out of the peppers. Perfectly charred, delicious. And what you do is you take a piece of chicken, you take a piece of uh, pepper on your fork. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. You guys, it's fabulous. It's so, so good. I love this chicken so much. And it's actually only the second time I'm making it this summer. But I think before grill, grill season is over, I'm going to be making it more. Because look at that, you guys. So delicious. And the longer you marinate it, the more tender and juicy it's going to be. You can even make this, the marinade, you know, put your chicken on the skewers, put that beautiful yogurt marinade on it, and cover it and leave it overnight. I only did it for about four hours, but let me tell you, when you do it overnight, even more tender and juicy. So uh, for the picture for the thumbnail, I'm just going to set up his baked potato. I have my skewer over here. And I'll probably give him another chicken. Whatever he doesn't eat, he will take for lunch tomorrow. Because he never eats his whole plate anyhow. I usually make him a separate plate for lunch. But he never eats what I give him on his plate because he always says I feed him too much. And then whatever's left over on his plate, he'll throw into his lunch dish. So, and if he has nothing left, well, then I'll make him a sandwich for lunch because that's all there is of this. But thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I hope you try this delicious chicken recipe. 
but I'm telling you, it's spectacular. I'm not kidding. Um, everyone have a great weekend. I'm not going to put a video up tomorrow. I think for now on, going forward, the videos are either going to be like a Wednesday, a Thursday, or a Friday. Mondays and Tuesdays is the beginning of the work week, and I try to get a lot done, you know, with my reselling. So I really haven't seemed to have the time to do a video Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. But I appreciate everybody that's tuning in. Everybody have a great weekend. I'll see you all next week. I hope you make this chicken. It's absolutely delicious. And if you're new here, please hit that subscription button. Please give this video a thumbs up, like it, and please um, hit the notification bell. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.